Welcome. Welcome to this real mechanical application on a hinge gate. When will a hinge gate tip? The context of this presentation is a reservoir on the left hand side connected to a rectangular conduit, empty, enclosed by a hinged gate with the hinge located in between the bottom and top of the conduit. Today, we are going to focus on under what conditions will the hinged gate tip. This particular problem was listed in an engineering fluid mechanics textbooks that will not be named with physically meaningless numbers. So how to solve this problem? Like with any engineering problem, the starting point is to draw the relevant sketch with the appropriate boundary condition on suitable notations. The sketch is in front of us with the reservoir on the left-hand side, the rectangular conduit on the right-hand side, and we introduce as notation the depth of the water reservoir, small d, the internal height of the conduit, big D, and the height of the hinge above the bottom of the conduit, small h. The next step, is to understand what is causing the gate to tip, and conversely, what is preventing the gate to tip. And the answer is related to the pressure of water acting on the gate. So, as a starting point, let us calculate the hydrostatic pressure in the reservoir acting on the hinged gate. First and foremost, the water surface is in an important boundary condition where the pressure is atmospheric, that is the relative pressure P equals zero at the water surface. Within the water reservoir, the pressure gradient is hydrostatic, that is the variation with vertical elevation of the pressure equals minus rho G, where rho is the water density, G is the gravity acceleration, and Z, the vertical elevation is positive upward. Hence, at the bottom of the reservoir, the pressure equal rho gd. And in the entire reservoir, from the bottom to the water surface, we would have a triangular pressure distribution. However, we want to focus on the hydrostatic pressure force acting on the gate. And there, we have a hydrostatic pressure distribution that is trapezoidal, with two components, one component acting above the hinge, highlighted by a red dashed rectangle plus a smaller white triangle. On the hydrostatic pressure component acting below the hinge with a green rectangle on a small white triangle. Then let us apply the angular momentum equation about the hinge. That is, let us look at the force acting on the gate that could lead tipping, there is a hydrostatic pressure force above the hinge that induces the tipping of the gate, while the hydrostatic pressure force below the hinge will keep the gate closed. So let us apply uh, the angular momentum. The total moment above the hinge equals the sum of the moment acting on the hinge with two key components. With the complete solution here, the sign minus reflect to a clockwise rotation action, while the sign plus or positive sign correspond to a trigonometrically positive direction or anticlockwise. This result can be presented in a dimensionless form without units with the complete solution shown here. Now let us look at this complete solution. Under what condition will the hinge gate tip? The hinge gate will tip when the moment about the hinge is negative. So let us apply our result and solve it in predicting the tipping condition as a function of the relative water depth and relative location of the hinge. 
The results are shown here in a graphical form with the moment or dimensionless moment on the horizontal axis, the water depth in the reservoir on the vertical axis relative to the height of the gate. On this graph, the yellow dashed area corresponds to a tipping condition, while the white on the part on the right hand side correspond to no tipping. So we can see here that the gate tip is impossible when the relative location of the hinge is more than 21%. When the relative location of the hinge is less than about 21%, tipping conditions are physically possible, but will be a function of the relative water depth on relative hinge location when the moment is negative. So in summary, under what condition will the hinge get tipped? This problem can be solved by applying hydrostatic on angular momentum, showing in particular that tip is impossible when the relative hinge height is above 21%. All in all, this particular exercise is a very basic fundamental application of fluid statics. With the complete result, illustrated here on this slide. <coughs> Pardon me. Relative bibliography are shown here with a number of relevant video movies in the same channel. Thank you for listening.